You ready to work? Let's do it. What do you think happened um, there? You guys got so many opportunities. You drove to the 32 yard line like 10 times. You couldn't get couldn't get it in. Yeah, um, you know, just some of the red zone plays that we had, you know, we just couldn't execute them. So we had to go for some field goals, but in the end, we just didn't make it. We just didn't execute. So we just got to get back, look at the film, see what we could have done better, um, and build from that next year. Does it become a mind thing when that happens? You know, like a ball player, he goes up to bat and strikes out, and then it gets in his head. Do you think maybe it got in your heads a little bit because you guys weren't getting them in there? Um, I mean, that could be a thing. Definitely, you know, it, it definitely affects um, each individual on the team, but. Uh, I really feel like just having the mentality that you just got to go out there and do it again until the game's over. We just really try to preach that mentality every single you know, play that we're in. So we just try to keep driving forward. From your For your performance, how do you feel you did tonight? I feel like I did all right. I mean, I always feel like I could do better. I just got to really look back at the tape and see what I could do better to build on. And, Get ready for next year. That's all I can do now. So, as for Cade, and I, he, he's all scrutiny on him. And how do you think he handled the pressure and and handled the game and and, and everything? You know, Cade's one of the most competitive guys I know. So, um, I felt like he handled the pressure well. You know, this is his first career start. So, you know, he had a lot of pressure on him. You know, Tennessee did a great job sending blitzes at us. You know, pressuring him up. But you know, he stayed. He stayed poised, and even till the end, he kept driving our team. So, you know, I respect him and love him for that. Is it frustrating at all just to not have that many opportunities to run the ball, especially in the second half there? I mean, you get what you get, and I really feel like you just got to make the most out of it, especially when you have so many Ds on the team. You know, you just got to play a role, do as much as you can, encourage all the guys. and. Just be there when anyone needs you. When, when Dabo gathered you all together on the sidelines there, what was the message at that time? I was just telling us to keep fighting, you know. We still got a chance to be in the game. Still got a chance to be in the game. And, um, you know, that was that really drove a lot of us and allowed us to, you know, have some camarad camaraderie. <laughs> togetherness, have togetherness and, you know, keep driving during the game. So. And that was much needed.